Hi guys, we are finally back on the 50 state road trip, living in Poe full time. We are so excited, aren't we blue? Are you excited? Okay, well I'm excited, I have butterflies. Show a little excitement, there we go. Holy cow, that's what I like to see. Good job, Bubby. I know the first thing everyone is gonna ask is what's up with Poe's electrical issues and if they're fixed. If you remember, we were running into turn signals not working and hazard switches not working, electrical issues with the Defender, and Joel did get it fixed, so go us. If you guys wanna know what the problem is, there was a tiny little short in this side indicator, so it's kind of funny that that little bulb can like wreak so much havoc on plans, but we got it fixed, so. Just stay working, bud. I feel like so much has happened that I need to catch you guys up to speed on. And you may have clocked that. I've added a few upgrades to Poe. There's a few new things in the build. So I'll show you guys all of that later. I'll get you up to speed. But right now I need to take you all the way back to a few days ago when we left Michigan for the 50 state road trip. And I had to pack up my entire life and fit it in this Defender. Today's the day we pack for the 50 state road trip. It's time to leave, oh my gosh. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Maria and I'm on a 50 state road trip, like I just said, with my dog Blue. And we're doing in this 1997 Land Rover Defender 110 that I just got. Why am I out of breath? Probably because I just catapulted myself in here. Anyways, let's pack up to hit the road again because I'm sure we are all sick of me not being on the road. You know what I mean? I think we're all in agreement there. I have absolutely no clue how I'm gonna pack this truck, you guys, because I have no plan. I'm just gonna start putting stuff s somewhere and hope it all fits. We'll figure it out as we go. You know how we do. Okay, clothes first, let's get to it. I've got four compartments here. I'm thinking I'm gonna do these two for clothes, right in the middle. This one I think I'm gonna do for electronics. Stuff maybe I don't need to grab as often because it's kind of like hard to get up since the fridge is right there. And then I'm gonna leave this one for cooking supplies, which I think I already, I think I already have some in there. Yeah. To me, it makes the most sense to leave cooking by the door because I feel like I'll be cooking outside more or maybe out of that corner of the vehicle. I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna be living out of this truck, so we're just gonna have to figure it out as we go. I'm sure stuff will get moved as time goes on and I find more functional ways to utilize the space, but for now, we're just gonna do a heavy guesstimate. Yeah. It's kind of what we do around here. It's pretty uh, crowded in there. Sweaters, jeans, winter gear. Cool. I think I need to get better with folding techniques because I'm pretty sure I could save a ton of space in these things if I just could fold better. Maybe like one of those vacuum suction things, you know? Okay. You see, that's why that no work. Name that movie. Oh my gosh, I just fit all of my clothes in here. Nice! Way easier than I thought. Tell me you live in gym clothes without telling me you live in gym clothes. Specifically Gymshark, this is like all. And Alphalete. You guys like the fit? This is my new uniform. Okay. What have we got? Do you guys remember when I sold the Subaru and I cleaned it out by throwing everything into trash bags? I like this trash bag method that my stepdad told me about. I just feel like it's more my style. I don't actually have to organize much. I can just throw everything into bags and then organize it when I get the new rig. I didn't take them out of trash bags and organize it. I just left them, so. We're just gonna take it back out. No! Huh, well that's a quirk. Can't open it when the door shut, you have to... You saw. Okay, I feel like there's gotta be an easy way to do this. And this just looks more complicated than it is. So maybe let's start by taking everything out. Start fresh. My sweet, sweet angel baby. My most prized possession. The way to make coffee in the middle of the woods, okay? Yeah. If I could only take one thing with me car camping, I would take an AeroPress before I would take bear spray. 
you know? You could probably like whack a bear on the nose with it or something. And that's it for cooking. I need to remember to go get my Coleman stove. Like I definitely have more to put into this drawer. So this one might be a little tricky because that's kind of a tight space for the amount of cookware I have, but we will handle that a little bit later. All right, hand warmers. I've got electronics in here, which I need to pull out actually eventually, but for right now this will do. You guys, you would be so proud of me. You know what I got? A satellite phone. Now we safe. I don't even know. That's just my junk drawer for right now. Guess what I just found that I totally forgot about. Remember the old kitchen drawer from the Subaru? With the huge cast iron? And all my seasonings? Man. I am quickly running out of space. Alright, I can do this. But how is the question? Oh my gosh, I don't even have my stove in here yet. I don't even have my Coleman stove in here yet. Where even is that thing? Okay, you know what? We're gonna figure it out. It's fine. It's fine. It's not rusted. Are you guys proud of me? I just gotta figure out how to fit the Coleman stove in here somewhere and I'll be good. Okay, that is a future Maria problem. Like this door is also a future Maria problem. My issue that I'm running into is that majority of this space up here, which is like so much, this roof rack is huge. I should be able to put stuff up there. So really I don't have storage issues. I just have more of a timing issue because I have to wait to be able to put stuff on my roof rack. So I'm probably going to have to shove stuff on the floor down here for at least a little while. Oh. But you guys, guess what I did do and I forgot about, which is a great idea on my part. I started putting stuff in the lockers. So lucky for me, Poe comes with these, which I've started putting a bunch of stuff in. So that helps as far as storage goes for the next couple of days. I have a lot of random stuff. Like I need to bring my Jackery solar panel, my chair. Where's my table? Found the table. I also found about four other huge boxes that I need to take with me that I forgot about for the roof rack. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be, it's gonna be crowded tonight. Side note, I found the Coleman. It's gonna live next to the fridge for right now. I have a whole box of spare parts that I need to put by Blue's side. This will all get reorganized. Okay? You know you own a Land Rover Defender when you have to keep an extra alternator on hand at all times. Honey, your phone is not too warm enough in here. Mom? Mom? How do you feel about me leaving for the 50 state road trip? <laughs> Don't cry. It's okay. I'll be back next year. Around holiday time. Yeah. I'm gonna miss her so much. Aw. All the time. Aw. There'll be a void. A void? Mm-hmm. But I'll come see you. Yeah, you're gonna come visit and you're gonna come camp with me, right? Yeah, if it's not cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mom, for your help. Yeah. I have my keys, I have my phone, I have my phone charger, I have my computer. I think that's everything I need to make a vlog besides Bubby. You want a little baggie of butterscotch candy? Sure. You're proud of me? No. Of course. Thanks. I mean, you're following your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, what's that? Care package from mom? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Do you have a toothbrush? Yes. I yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We what? do love you. Yeah. Miss you. Yeah. We sure will. Thanks for spending time with me. Of course, Mama. It's a pleasure. Your hair looks really nice. Thanks. My mom did it. Oh, well, he's excited to go. Aww. He's excited. He knows. You I ready to hit know. the road, Bub? So let's blow this pop stand. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. You ready to hit the road? You ready to hit the road? Yeah. 
I know! We're only a month overdue for our leave date, bub. <laughs> we have lights, bubby. <laughs> I know! We're in the Walmart parking lot tonight. It's Poe's first time. It's uh, kind of exciting for us. I feel like I'm christening the Defender to the sights of Walmart parking lot camping. You guys know this is like our favorite pastime. So, I mean, it was about time. I didn't really expect us to be here tonight. Um, I thought, you know, maybe we would get into the woods a little bit longer before we just rolled up to Walmart. But, you know, it is what it is. We've been driving a lot today, so. Right, bub? I asked you guys on Instagram where we should go on the road trip this time around. I gave you a few states that we were going to be going through and everybody collectively pretty much told us to go to the Ozark Mountains. So we've just been trying to get there as fast as we can. Everything in between Michigan and the Ozarks has just been distance to cover at this point. Blue and I have truly been driving all day long. We're both a little crabby. We're both hungry. And it's 1.10 in the morning, and I'm just now about to make food because I haven't eaten. So it's just one of those days, you know? Welcome back to the road, girl. It's how it goes. I'm going to attempt to make these tonight. Hot, spicy, chicken flavor Raymond noodles. Can I make this in the jet boil? I honestly, I don't think I'm supposed to. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think I'm supposed to, but I'm going to attempt it anyways. I don't have it in me to pull out the Coleman stove. So let's mess this up together. Sparkling water can't break tradition. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know that this is gonna work. I don't think you're supposed to cook noodles in the jet boil, and I'm pretty sure this has a sauce you have to add. I think I overfilled the water. You're supposed to cook these for five minutes, you guys. R.I.P. me. Good luck to us. Here goes nothing. I only cooked half of it because I'm not gonna eat all of this anyways. I also was technically supposed to put the sauce into the water, but I was worried about what that was gonna do to the jet boil, since you're only supposed to be boiling water. I don't know. <laughs> Just don't put your hair in it. <laughs> I'm 90% sure this is a regional thing, but do you guys say Raymond noodles or do you say ramen? Y'all know I'm from Michigan and I say Raymond noodles. We don't even say Raymond. We say Raymond noodles. What are these suckers? Raymond noodles. Say it with me. Raymond. Noodles. Yeah. It's the only right answer. Okay. This is supposed to be the spicy flavor. Not spicy. Not spicy at all. Overall, still very good though. Wanna go potty? Go potty! <laughs> we gotta get you a step, kid. Good boy. For some reason, last night, Blue slept in the front seat instead of sleeping with me back here, which there's more than enough room for him back here. 
I mean, like, come on. This is like double the size of Rue. So he's used to sleeping on way narrower of a bed. But anyways, I'm still gonna set up the double bed tonight because we have that little piece that makes us into like a two person. And I'm gonna see if I can't get Blue to spend the night back here instead of the front seat. Right, kid? Where you been? You left me alone last night. What the heck was that about? What the heck was that about? Never put this on while in bed before, but here goes nothing. Bubby, hold on. Hold on. Heck yeah. What do you think, Bub? You also can reach your water now. Way better. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, pup. Well, we finally got Blue to sleep in the back. Good morning, pup. Good morning. Oh, oh, don't put hair everywhere. Do you guys see all that hair? We gotta fix that. You guys. I bought a vacuum. I am pretty much vowing to make sure that this rig stays clean and um, right now we are currently covered in dog hair and we've only been in this for a few days so I need to set this to charge. It's a cordless? Yes, cordless handheld vacuum. I honestly don't know why it took me so many years to get one of these. I should have had one of these with Rue but I didn't but we saw how Rue turned out you know so we gotta we gotta be different with Poe. I'm gonna set this thing to charge so that we can use it in a couple of hours. I love how compact it is. I wonder if we could like mount it. Check it out, bub. This is because of you. New fear unlocked. All right, I've got it charging. I'm gonna give it a couple hours and then uh, we'll put it to use, bub. Bub and I are gonna get ready for the day and we'll meet you in the woods. That's a little aggressive, Blue. Now that you're all caught up to speed, welcome to the Missouri wilderness. How are you enjoying it, Blue? He's having a grand old time. Speaking of Blue, he has been leaving an insane amount of hair in Poe just because I gave him a bath recently, so he's shedding extra. And it's a new rig, new me. You know what I mean? So I'm committed to organizing this one and keeping it clean. I'm gonna use our newly charged friend here and see if I can't just get all of Blue's hair out of Poe really quick. And then I'm gonna walk you guys through the upgrades that we've added throughout the last week. <laughs> Let's do this. You guys, I have a feeling this is gonna be like my best purchase of the year. And it's so small. What? This is amazing. That took like, what, three minutes? And everything already feels so much better and cleaner. Okay, on to the upgrades. As you guys may have noticed from yesterday's cooking video, we have... Lights. Come on. Yeah. We don't want you blue, we want you white. Or do we? Maybe we want you red. <laughs> or yellow. Or pink. Or green. Or this color. Or warm. Or cool. Or white. Cool, right? And the puck lights do the same thing. Red. Green. Yeah! Blue? <laughs> so cool! Alright, we'll just go back to white. 
I think the lighting is like my favorite interior upgrade because it's all in remote control switches. So this is super nice because I have put everything on command strips with Velcro. So as I drive, these won't fall off. I just stick the remotes right here. And then it's super easy because if I'm outside and I need to come in really quick and see something, I can just grab this and turn it on. If it'll work. Yes. And you can set like a timer for the lights to go off. Like if I'm reading, and I just want it to go off automatically. Like there's a lot of controls on here. So I'm very excited about lighting. We have two back here, one above where I cook. And then we have this long guy right here, which is super nice because I can take it off. It's on magnets and then I can just like shine it on stuff if I need to grab it. And then it just hooks right back up and it stays like that while I'm driving. So I'm super pumped for lighting. As we saw in my test run of the Defender where I was just trying everything out, lighting was definitely an issue. So I'm really excited to uh, have all these guys. And the fact that they all change colors, like I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Okay, other than that, interior wise, what else did I upgrade? Oh, I did this. I upgraded a little hook situation for my Dometic just so that it doesn't fall out when I'm driving because it was falling out all the time. So I don't know if you can see. Focus Sony. There's a little hook back there. And yeah, so that just stays secure. I also added my stuffed animal blue, my little stuffed blue. He's our mascot of Poe. And he just lives right there. Look how cute he is. He mans the remotes. For a splash guard, I added um, Poe's old license plate from the UK. I just thought that was a cute little nod to like his old life. And then I also added Joel's power stance import export logo because joel saved my life on like four different instances when it came to this rig and also getting it back on the road when there were electrical issues so i figured joel needed some sort of like free marketing that's what i wanted to give him so we can always give a nod to power stance import export just a reminder that good people are out there you know good company i also added a fake succulent for some life. So that kind of falls everywhere, but it just sort of lives right here. Last thing that's interior related is this cord here that runs up to my solar panel on the roof. It runs through the passenger door along the top here and down the back to the uh, back of the Jackery, which will be charging it as I drive, hopefully. I've been running into like a few issues with it. So I think I have to switch it out for a different cord or something like that. But anyways, I think that's all for the interior changes. Let's go up to the roof. Hi, bub. <laughs> First thing you guys will probably notice is this Yakima roof. What is this even called? Cargo carrier or something? Um, I don't have my keys on me, so I can't open it, but I just have, I have all of my spare parts, which I have to carry a lot of spare parts for this Defender on me, just because a lot of it would have to be imported if I ever break down. So I keep like an alternator, starter, stuff that you guys saw me pack up, that's all in here. Anything that I'm not using like every single day, I try to keep up here just to keep as much um, free space in Poe, honestly. I'll open this all up and show you guys at some point, but. Yeah, just everything extra is in the Yakima cargo carrier, which is super nice. It's so much nicer than totes, and I like that it locks so nobody can steal my stuff. This is a solar panel I was telling you guys about that runs down the passenger side and back through to the Jackery down there. So, uh, yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. If I can just get it working, that would be awesome. And then last but not least, this is actually, I think, maybe my favorite thing because I think it looks so cool is my farm jack, which I have mounted. And I think it gives Poe cool points. I don't know. But should I ever need to change a tire or anything, just undo these, pop it out, and then we're good to go. I'm really trying to get myself set up for overlanding, so I gotta think about tools I need to take with me. And in the event of an emergency, what do I do if I'm alone? Are you nervous, bub? He always gets nervous when I'm up here. It's okay, kid. You guys, I specifically left space here, so like in the summer, I can lay out on top of the roof rack. Priorities, you know? <laughs> All right, Bubby, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for all of the updates that we've done to Poe. 
I'm so excited. We're finally back. We're finally back in the groove, back to regularly scheduled programming. And I think now really all we got to go do is get lost in the woods, right, kid? What are you eating? Stop. <laughs> all right, kid, let's get out of here. It's time to go explore. It's time to go explore. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.